Can you turn it down some? You super loud. It's, only on 13, well. it's super loud, lady. You louder than the TV. No, okay, thank you. I'm putting it back up. No, you're not. Okay, give me a second. Bye. Bye. Are you responsible? welcome back to my channel i'm shanae and i just wanted to really make this video today because i've been wanting to talk about goals and manifestations and just everything in between but before we even get into this video i'm gonna need for y'all to go ahead and hit that like comment and subscribe before we even go any further okay now that that's done let's go ahead and get right into this video before I even start talking, y'all, let me put some Vaseline on because with this winter going on, it be making my lips super dry. Okay, y'all gotta excuse how I look right now because I'm about to make myself look snatched in a minute, but right now I'm looking like somebody's mama. I mean, I am, but still, like, I don't have to look the part. So, I'm about to go ahead and snatch this face real quick and then i'm gonna do my you part wig that i had made and i'm so proud of myself because i've been looking so raggedy for a very long time now so it's just time to get this all together again so i already did my eyebrows off camera and i had put a little bit of translucent powder on my eyes because my eyes be creasing a lot like it just builds up oil and then increase a lot so all of that is already done but yeah i just wanted to make this video because we are in a whole new year and i just got so many plans so many ideas and things that i want to do I wanted to make this video because we're in a whole year. I have so many goals, so many ideas. I have a business that's launching next month. I have my daughter who's about to be one this year. I just have a lot of things coming up and in the midst of it. I just feel like I kind of wanted to make this video because like I am really working on my self-confidence. Like my confidence drastically went down when I was pregnant, after I was pregnant like i just i was not myself i didn't feel like that bad bitch or that bitch i just felt like a raggedy bitch so i just kind of wanted to talk about it because oh y'all like even people can make you feel like like shit basically so i'm just gonna be using my bronzer no i'm not using my bronzer Oh, what am I using? I'm using my Max Studio Fix actually in the NC47. And I use this when I'm just trying to do like a natural look or when I'm trying to be a little bit more subtle because sometimes I just don't want to do a drastic look. It's still early. I just have a couple runs to make. So anyways, y'all like, so I'm really excited about this year because last year and i swear i do not be trying to sound like a broken record that is constantly repeating itself because i feel like i have myself on repeat at the top at this point but y'all do not know the extent the extent of what i went through last year like it was just so horrible for me i did not have a happy pregnancy i think i was when i first found out i was pregnant I was happy and like sad at the same time like I was like real life like oh my god I'm pregnant and then I went from oh my god I'm pregnant and it's like I guess I could have been happier no okay this is the thing so I was happy because it was by somebody this is gonna sound dumb but it may not but I was just happy that it was by somebody that I had history with this is somebody that I love in love with like we just it just was never on the same page about stuff but i was happy in that way because i'm like oh ain't nobody like just random that i gotta deal with for the rest of my life because i don't care what nobody's like when you have a baby people be like oh 
I got to deal with him for 18 years. No, like, I'm in my 30s. I'm going to say early 30s because I don't want y'all to think I'm that old. I'm getting up there, but I ain't that, I'm not up there like that yet. But my parents, like, they not together. And my dad, like, is in a whole new marriage. But he still has to do it. My mom still has to do it with my dad and vice versa because of their kids. Like, it don't matter how old you are, like you're gonna be in contact with the person you have kids by i mean unless you're just unless it's just not that but anyways it was just i don't know it was just a horrible pregnancy for me like the pain the physical pain i had to go through because i was considered like like so i can't talk i was considered high risk and then i was put on bed risk for the remainder of my pregnancy so i couldn't work i couldn't they didn't want me to walk they didn't even want me to sit up so i was just down i was just so down because i was like oh my god like y'all when i tell y'all all my bills like granted i have like a great support system from my family but y'all like I hated the fact that I had to borrow money like every single month from somebody in my family because I could not work. And then I think after a baby, I still couldn't work because I'm dealing with a newborn, I'm trying to get used to that. Then I still couldn't work because my mind wasn't in it dealing with postpartum depression. And y'all, postpartum depression is the worst. Like, I would think I was over it and I was still going through it. It was just, I don't ever. I don't ever want to get pregnant again, like, ever. I love my daughter, but I do not ever want to get pregnant again. I always said I wanted to have a daughter. I got my daughter. I'm done. Like, I even want to get my tube sorry. I don't care. This is not some, oh, you're just going to feel like this now. You might change your mind later. Like, no, I'm done. Like, I almost died, okay? Like, literally. It was, I literally had to tell my mama, like, and I wanted them to tell the doctors, so I think the doctors knew something that I didn't, but they didn't want to scare me with me being in the hospital early. But I told my mom, like, if it come down to it, save my daughter. Like, for real, save my daughter. I'm a, I am I live as much as I could, I guess, at that point, but save my baby. But thank God, everything worked out the way it was supposed to. So, I think I got to a point, like, after... After my postpartum depression, like, I did finally get through it. It took me, let me see, I had her in June, July, August, September, October. It took me about four or five months to come out of my postpartum depression. And when I did, like, I just had a whole plan. Because I used to do hair. Like, I went to cosmetology school, graduated. And then my dad had gave me a hair shop when I was 21 that I kept for, like, a year like a, it was like a year and a half well like a year and a half but it didn't work out for me because for one i was just too young to really understand what like the business business aspect of it because yeah i i basically just didn't do right by it and then it was harder for me because i just wanted to do hair but i had tenant like i owned the building but i had my tenant stand above me they was breaking into my shop it was just too much i felt when i was like 21. i was like i just want to do hair i don't, don't want to go through all this so i literally gave that build it back but anyways i had went to cosmetology school and i wanted to go back to doing hair but for one it's kind of harder to do hair now because i don't trust everybody but my baby and yeah i just don't trust everybody I don't trust everybody with my baby and i'm not putting my baby in daycare right now like my daughter is too young like she can't tell me what's going on at daycare they, she can't tell me if they do something to her or anything like that so i just took it upon myself where i'm like you know what i'm like we're gonna have to just stay here and feel i feel like she can go to daycare i mean eventually i know she's gonna have to because i'm just doing a lot and I don't want to put that responsibility like on my mama or my sisters or any of my family members because at the end of the day, it's my baby. I just came up with this plan because I was working this job, y'all. And I had to like literally leave my job because now my daughter, she's getting older. My daughter is seven months. 
And she is not a quiet baby. She gonna make noise. She gonna express herself. And it's not like I could be like, oh, be quiet. Or I can't put her in another room. So, I had to literally leave a job. Because even though it was work from home, it was not working. And then I just... I just don't want to work with nobody else. Like, I mean, I wanted my own schedule. So I had literally made a whole plan. I made a whole list. I don't know where it's at right now. Maybe I'll put it in my. Oh, I'm not going all the way up there to get my other phone. But I had made a whole goal list. And I was just like, you know what? I want to do hair, but I can't really work in the shop right now. And then I was just like, because I used to also run like a hair business. Like, when hair like weed and bundles like the virgin bundles was like popping when they first started popping i was popping with selling hair a couple years ago but i stopped that too but that's a whole other story i'm sorry i keep going over here in my makeup bag i just don't feel like unloading all that stuff right now but i was just like you know what i'm about to go ahead i'm like i want to sell hair but everybody sells hair i don't want to just sell hair and I was like, I really want to do hair, but I can't do hair. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make these wigs because that's what I'm good at. Like, I have my sewing machine. I always knew how to sew. I ain't never make nothing out of it besides a pillow. But I was just like, I already know how to sew. I'm going to make my wigs. And I was just like, you know what? From there, I was like, you know what? I'm about to buy this X amount of hair. I'm about to do this, make this amount of wigs. Like, this is just what I want to do. Um... So, yeah, like, I had made my mind up. I was just like, you know what? For 2023, 20, I'm going to go ahead and start my own business so I can have more time with my daughter. Um, I had made out my body goals. My body goals, I'll talk like about another day because, yeah, I, I got a lot of plans for that too. Well, not a lot of plans because I don't plan on get a, I don't plan on getting a lot of shit, but... It's just some stuff I really want to get done or redone, I should say. But more so, like, I was just like, the biggest thing that I really wanted to work on was my confidence. Because I've just been feeling so low. Like, it's been getting to a point, y'all, where... It's been getting to a point where I will go out looking any type of way. Because in my mind, I'm like, oh, I'm just going here. I don't care, basically. Like, I don't care who see me like this. I'm not trying to talk to nobody, anybody. Like, I just had that mindset for a minute. And I used to be one of those where, like, I feel like you need to dress how you want people to see you because you just never know who you can run into. And that's not to say, like, dating-wise, but, like, you never know who you can run into, like, to network or for anything, you know? So... But I was just at a point where I was like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not getting dressed. I'm not doing my hair. I'm like, y'all, I was wearing a raggedy wig for a minute. And nothing against synthetic wigs, but them wigs do not last. And I was making this wig last for a long time. And it's just like, bitch, let it go. Let it go. So I let it go. So I just snapped out of it. Like, once I had made my mind up about what I want to do, and I don't want my daughter to fall into feeling like that or feeling like she it's okay to look like that basically and it's not to say I looked horrible but for me and knowing how I am I'm like bitch you tripping like we don't do that fix yourself so I was just like you know what I even told my mom I was like mom I can't do this wig stuff no more or I can't no I said that back I'm I'm gonna wear a wig but I was just like, I can't look like this. I can't just allow my wig to look like this and be okay with it. Like, this just ain't it. So, yeah, once I had made my mind up about what I wanted to do, I just got to manifest in a lot of stuff because <laughs> I don't even know how I even got this far. Like, I was like, okay, I ain't got my job no more. I still got a car note. I still got my phone bill, all these bills, insurance, and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't know how, how I'm going to do it. But I just like, I made my mind up, too. I was just like, you know what? If it's out of your control, if you if it's nothing that you can do about it, then I'm not about to trip. It's out of my control. Like, me tripping about it ain't doing nothing but bringing bad energy to me. And it's just like, I, I, I'm off that. 
and that's an, I'm, I don't care if it's a deal or none of that like I, I just don't care I'm not I'm not not to say I don't care it's just I'm not I'm about to keep tripping over small stuff that's small to me you know like because at the end of the day especially now that I got a daughter I be making shit happen y'all I swear I be putting I'll be like I always tell myself like you always got money coming to you you gonna always have money your bills gonna always be paid and y'all my bills stay paid like and I'm not even working like <laughs> this shit is crazy and like I don't know it's just like you really gotta believe in manifestation like I'm manifesting manifesting my YouTube like I'm saying it right now like I feel like I'm gonna get to where I want to be at with my YouTube goals yeah like I just I don't know I and I'm I'm in such a happy space right now y'all like because I know I know my business about to pop off I know like everything I want to do is just gonna come into fruition I'm just so happy about it and then like I just always like say I'm grateful I'm grateful I'm thankful like y'all I remember I was out and I had went to where did I went first I went to the hair store first because I had to get like a whole bunch of like hair supplies to make my wigs. And um, the lady, granted, it might seem small to y'all, but it was major to me. But the lady was like, I guess she must have noticed I was buying like a whole bunch of stuff. And she was like, are you a hairstylist? And I was like, no, I'm a wig maker. And I think my total came up to like, I forgot what it was. It was like a hundred or something. And she took off like twenty dollars, and I was confused. Like, you know, not to be mad at it, cause hey, you helping me save some money, I'm all for it. But why did you take that off? And she was just like, you know, you're a wig maker, and you know, we support those that's making a business. So I'm like, okay, like, come through, universe. I see you trying to help me save some money. And then like right after that, I had went to Wendy's. Hey, but I went to Wendy's. I had, I'm so greedy, y'all, and I need to stop, stop eating like this, cause I eat really, really bad. But I went to Wendy's, and I had ordered like two big chicken sandwiches. I said big chicken, two crispy chicken sandwiches, and then I had ordered like a large fry, like two nuggets. Like, don't judge me, don't judge me, but. Basically, I had ordered a whole bunch of, like, stuff I didn't need. And the lady was like, you just got to make your own meal, huh? And I was like, yeah, basically. I mean, I can get a lot for my bucket at Wendy's. I mean, okay, huh? Hold on, y'all. But when I had pulled around, y'all, and she was laughing at me like, girl, is all that food for you? And I was just like, don't judge me. Yeah, it's for me. Like, come on now. We all know. Everybody be ordering a whole bunch of stuff from Wendy's. It might be just me, but whatever. So she like, is that just for you? And I'm like, yeah. So she was like, you know what, baby? I'm just gonna go ahead and let you get your order. And I was like, what you mean? She was like, I'm not gonna charge you for it. Y'all, she let me walk away with a whole meal for the free. And I was just geek because I was like, y'all, I had saved so many, I didn't have to spend no money, like, but I feel like too, like when you put out there that you all have a good day, like I tell myself, like today gonna be great. I say that I'm thankful, I'm grateful for like everything that come my way, that's gonna come my way. And it's just stuff be happening, stuff be popping for me. And I just be like, oh, yes, look at the universe, look at God, like. So that's why I'm like, this year is gonna be amazing. Like this year started off amazing. Because I'm so, like, I wake up, y'all. I wake up, and the only thing on my mind besides my daughter is my business. Like, all I want to do is make money, get me and my daughter together, and just live life. I always really, really wanted to live. Like, I'm not saying that, like, it's been bad, but, like, I just got too many plans for me and my daughter. Not to mention, like, I got to get us back out of Milwaukee. Like, my baby ain't even born. She wasn't even born here. So, I mean, it's been cool living back in Milwaukee for a little while because I really wanted my family to know her and, like, see her or whatever, but 
I gave everybody a year, basically. No, no, I didn't. I take that back. Because we ain't get back here until, like, the end of September. But, anyway, um, yeah, I said right after her birthday, we out of here. And that only gets me, she's seven months. Give me about five more months to get everything together so we can go. Because, I'm sorry, like, love and hate my city. Literally have a love and hate relationship with my city, but I'm not raising my daughter here. Milwaukee is getting out of control. Mind you, everywhere is crazy throughout the U.S. right now, but uh-uh. I'm going to go ahead and finish my face real quick. Okay, so here's my final look. Like, I just feel like, I feel like that bitch. I feel like a finance bitch, yeah. I need to stop saying that, but it's how I feel at this moment. But anyways, like, back to what I was saying, like, just to close out this video, because, like, I don't want to make this video too long, but I I just feel like, to sum it up, man, uh, to sum it up, manifestation is just real, like, just say what you want, believe that you already got it, believe that it's coming, and be thankful before you even get it, and it's yours. She just put this trolls on again. Like, oh my God. Ma, can you turn it down some? <clears throat> Anyways, like, just put out there what you want and it's yours. And I really, really believe that because stuff has really just been falling in place for me. Stuff is moving the way that I want it to. Like, y'all seen that meme that was going around on Instagram or TikTok or I think it was Instagram, but I seen it all. But it said something like, God, please don't make me your strongest soldier this year. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. I've been doing it every year, but I need a break. I need I need a break. Like, let, let this year just be smooth sailing because I need it. I want it. And I'm already putting out there that this year is really, really going to be great. Like, we're not even in a second year yet. I mean, uh, second month. And I'm just, I don't know. This is the happiest I've ever been. And then with my daughter getting older, I'm excited for her. Like, I just got so, like, everything I'm doing, every single thing that I'm doing is for my daughter. The goals that I've made are very, very, very realistic. Like, I made sure it was something that I could achieve, something that was realistic, and something that I could actually, like, get done. So, and my, I have a very, very long list of things that I want to do. And this is for the entire year. And that includes things for myself and for my daughter. Because it's nothing that I'm doing that's not going to include my baby. My baby is my heart. Can you turn so, it down some? You super loud. Uh, if you guys super loud, lady. Video, don't forget to like, the TV. No, okay, thank you. I'm putting it back up. No, you're not. Okay, give me a second. Bye. Bye.